Hi, I'm Joe James. In this video, we're going to learn how to rename column names in pandas. So we're going to start with uh, importing pandas. We'll run that import statement. Now we're going to create a new data frame by uh, loading one in from a CSV file. So we'll do pd.readcsv. And we're going to use a file that I've used for some of my other videos. So we already have a data file created here, which is called iris.data. And then we're going to add in some column names. I'll add in these column names that I've already typed up, and then we'll print out the data frame. So now we've loaded a data frame in with five columns of data. We'll print that out, and it looks like this. Now we want to change some of the column names. So these are the column names we have, A, B, C, D, and Label. Let's say we want to rename some of those. All we have to do is df.rename and then we're going to pass in a dictionary. The dictionary, the format here is old colon new. So that's how we're going to pass in our argument. So old for us right now, let's say would be like A. And then let's say we want to rename that something like AA. Okay, that's our, that's our name change. And if we want to change another one, we can also do that. Um, let's say we want to change column C to uh, column cat. So, okay, so now we've got two name changes. You can put however many you want. The ones you don't put in this dictionary are just going to be left alone. And then we're going to put comma axis equals one. That tells pandas that it's a vertical axis. Axis equals one. When we run this, we're going to see that, yeah, it looks like our changes are there. However, if I add an extra little return here, data frame, we didn't actually save those changes. We didn't persist the changes. So what we need to do is either df equals, or the more Pythonic way to do it, the way they recommend in documentation, comma, in place equals true. And that will save our changes to the data frame. Now those rename changes are going to be saved to df. And when we run this now, we can see that, yeah, indeed, the, D, the data frame has actually changed. So that's how easy it is to change column names. And as usual, I'll post the code in my GitHub site, and I'll put the link down below in the comments. I hope this video was helpful for you. If so, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel. I'm Joe James. Thanks for watching.